thumbnail spilling all this on my bed, honey. No. Uh, ah! I'm so discombobulated. <laughs> Am I high right now? Do you ever get nervous? <laughs> what is up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. And welcome to my channel. I'm Deja. <laughs> Voice. <laughs> Where did it go? I filmed in a long time honestly like sat down and filmed a video i'm gonna drink my capri sun because i'm a little parched but um i haven't filmed like a sit down video in forever oh, that's bomb. and i haven't filmed a story time in so long. and i know my neighbor can hear me because i'll be hearing him so sorry now you can hear me you can hear my life because his life is pretty funny so <laughs> y'all I done heat damaged my hair again. But it's all right, cause we gonna bring it back. I'm gonna be telling y'all the time. It was, my, uh, I would consider this my first like, trip off edibles, bro. Like, I had, I've taken snacks and stuff, like Rice Krispie treats, but they're always from like people who made them themselves, you know? This is actually the first time I had like some real deal, like real from a dispensary. <laughs> So, if this is something you want to see, if something you want to hear, I have done um, the reason why I don't smoke uh, Mary Jane videos. So if you haven't watched that one, um, I'll leave it in the description box down below. Maybe I should chew these and talk because I'm gonna be smacking. So y'all heard the story why I don't really mess with the flowers. So I'm gonna just tell you why I don't mess with the, what they make it out of like oil, butters and stuff. Why I don't mess with that, okay? <laughs> so boom, let's start the story. Imagine this, I'm gonna take y'all into my reality when everything was going on, okay? So look, me and a friend of mine wanted to actually uh, make our own like snacks, like cookies and brownies and stuff. And at some of the shops out here, you can actually buy the oil. So it's like the cooking oil that you can like make anything. Because one time I went to this one shop and the guy was telling me that he got super high off his spaghetti that he made last night. And I'm like, what, for real? And he like, yeah, bro, like I was gone. <laughs> and I was like, how did you do that? And he was like, oh, the oil we got so when my friend came out here and we were like yeah like you want to get up there um but not smoke me weed you know let's make our own edibles <laughs> so we went to like a couple dispensaries actually trying to find the oil but they didn't have it so we just ended up getting um, some candy get back to my house it's a beautiful day we're all excited and i was trying to get myself in the good headspace before i actually decided to intake <laughs> what I know almost killed me last time and I know that they say edibles is like get you like higher or whatever like it's a harder high than actually smoking the flower so I don't know <laughs> back in my days of when I used to dibble and dabble and try stuff uh, I used to like the edible high other than like the flower high you know I don't it's because it wasn't like for real or it was like homemade or something but i'm gonna just stop rambling and get into the story so okay we come home i'm trying to get myself in a good headspace because i'm like i don't want to have a bad trip off of this you know i just want to feel relaxed and like unwind and de-stress and stuff like that and i was having really bad anxiety at the time for those of you who don't know i still suffer from anxiety and depression it was really bad after i had laid in i guess like postpartum but now it's like Maybe I'll do a story time or like videos about that because I really do. Like even today, like right now while I'm filming this, because this is why I decided to sit down and film. Maybe this will help me a little de-stress. But um, like five minutes ago, I just had an anxiety attack. So <laughs> that's cool. Um, Back to the story. <laughs> We're sitting here and we decided to, let's make dinner first before we do this. So we make dinner, we eat, we're chilling. One of the homies were gonna come over and I'm like, all right, you wanna do this too? And he like, sure, like, all right, bet. And I was like, all right, boom. We're sitting here on the couch and we get the candies or whatever, we all eat one, it's three of us. We all eat one. And then my friend, I'm a, should I give them names? Yeah, my friend, Joey is the dude and let's say Son cuz I got a Capri Sun. So son is a girl, right? That's the that's the home girl. She was like, how many you want to take? And I'm like girl, I don't know <laughs> like, Let me get one and let me just see how I feel So we all eat one we're chilling. I was like, okay Like let me just see how I feel cuz I know edibles take a minute to kick in So I'm like, let me wait like 20 minutes and if I don't feel nothing then like we'll do another one type of thing So she's like, I bet she actually took one like 10 minutes after that and I'm like girl, that's on you 
like slow down but it's whatever so sitting here we're all watching a movie or whatever and I don't feel it at all and it's been like 30 minutes and I'm like chilling all right bro like let me get another one <laughs> so she actually eats another one which makes it her like third one and me and Joey only had one he actually didn't take no more for the rest of the day but he comes in play later on in the story so I take two and I wait like another 20, 30 minutes. I'm like, bro, okay, like at this point, I know I do not have a high tolerance at all. Like, I almost called y'all. <laughs> I'm over here talking to y'all like y'all really my friends sitting in front of me and I forgot this is YouTube. So I gotta kind of like watch the words that come out of my mouth. <laughs> but I'm over here like, girl, I don't feel nothing. And I'm telling my friend Joey like, bro, like, I guess I must on the hair. Yeah, right. So I was like, all right, let me get like a half of one. I take a half of one, so now I'm at two and a half, and she takes another one. She had like four within like the hour. And I'm like, girl, you need to calm down because she's way smaller than me, like shorter than me, smaller than me. And I'm like, you need to relax. And I'm sitting here like, you know what? Like, my life right now. <laughs> I'm a little depressed. I need to just de-stress and just feel okay and like forget about my life for a little while and just vibe out. So I'm like, you know what? I'm about to go. <laughs> this is what I did, okay? I'm about to go do like two bowls real fast um, for y'all that are smokers who <laughs> know what that is. So I ripped it like three, four times and I'm outside like doo -doo 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 -doo, and I come back in the house and instantly from that, um, up there right so then I'm sitting here like okay yeah like this is what I wanted to feel like we're watching a movie eating snacks laughing giggling and then out of nowhere I grab my phone bro <laughs> trying to text and the letters <laughs> look like they coming off the screen <laughs> and I said oh no Deja you can't hallucinate don't hallucinate don't even let your mind think you're hallucinating because then you're gonna start tripping and I remember tripping from the last time I told y'all. And I was like, if that happens, bro, huh, kill me now. <laughs> so I'm like, nah, bro, I can't start tripping. Like, you're, you're fine. You're just a little high. And that's why the letters is floating off the screen right now. So I put my phone down and I'm like, all right, maybe I'm just trying to watch TV. And I'm like, is it the edibles kicking in or is it just because I like read the bone three times, you know? I don't know. <laughs> I was instantly hot after I came back into the house after rip, like ripping the bowls or whatever. I would say like 10 minutes after me being in the house, I went downhill. <laughs> it went downhill from there. I say the peak of my high was like 11 o'clock. It was like 11 o'clock because all this happened between like 9 and 10. So like the peak was like 11 and I was tripping bro. <laughs> like, I was to the point y'all can't pay me enough to take edible no because I was like it's the fact that like I actually smoked and then I did edibles too who told me to do that little old me thinking I'm one of the big dogs the girl no I was I was being really stupid and I was being very much so depressed <laughs> I was sitting up there on the couch or whatever Joey over here son over here and I'm looking at son like Girl, you lit. <laughs> Her eyes like real low. She's like, yeah, like I'm high. I'm looking at Joey like, you lit. He's like, bro, no, I'm fine. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, bro, I'm just trying to relax. And then I'm sitting there and then I tried to like scroll up Instagram. Couldn't see it. Hello? So I'm sitting on Instagram, couldn't see it. Put my phone down again. Um, then my heart started beating real fast. And I'm like, no, 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 you're not gonna die today. I'm trying to control my breathing and just keep telling myself, like, bro, you're fine. You're not gonna die off of weed, bro. Like, you are fine. Just relax. This is what you wanted. You set yourself up for this one. So I couldn't even be mad. Time just goes. Like, I don't know. I don't remember. And I'm happy. The only reason why I know it was 11 o'clock is because my friend Joey was like, I'm gonna sound like this. Am I really that country? Because I just felt like I just heard myself sound like I was from the South. Anyways, <laughs> my friend Joey was like, it's 11 o'clock. Like, just relax. Honestly, if I didn't have him that day, I probably would have went to the hospital. <laughs> Take y'all into my room right here, okay? So, I'm on the couch tripping, right? 
Joey was like, bro, just go lay down. So I'm like, can you please lay with me, bro? So we in here laying down, just talking, and he's trying to like talk. And I remember specifically, like, I just wanted him to keep talking because his voice was just so soothing. Like it kept me on earth. <laughs> so I'm like, please just keep talking, nigga, don't stop. Like, I just kept trying to engage a conversation so he could just keep talking. So imagine me laying on my bed right here, okay? Ooh, my hair looks so bad, I'ma cut it. Mom just laying here on my bed right and he's up here on his phone just talking and scrolling and then I start seeing colors <laughs> it was bad so he's talking and I'm like looking at his mouth moving trying to focus on one thing and everything around him just went black and I'm like oh my god you're tripping bro like you are so high right now like, you're tripping and then he's talking everything's just black and then I'm like, oh my god, I'm tripping. So I'm like, I like sit up and I'm like, oh yeah, uh huh, like trying to engage. Then it was orange. The whole thing was orange. Like I honestly, he was gone for a little while, but I could still hear his voice. That's why I wanted him to keep talking. But he was like orange. And then it was orange, and I laid down. Then it was pink. Then I got up. Like, oh my god, <laughs> I'm tripping. And then I thought to myself, like, I'm a die. Because y'all, the flower that I had that I went outside to intake, it wasn't fresh. So in my head, I hadn't got it just like then. It was like two, three months that it just been sitting on my counter, bro. I'm not a smoker. I don't know if that's good. I don't know if that's bad. I don't know if it turned into a crack. <laughs> I didn't know if it turned into something else because it's been sitting on my counter for like five months. But that was in my mind so i'm thinking to myself like oh my god the weed done turned into meth and like uh, acid i'm on that right now <laughs> it was so bad in my head i'm like this this is bad weed so i'm trying to tell him i didn't just like go outside and smoke some old ass weed so i'm like does weed go bad <laughs> I'm asking him like, do I expire? What is going on with me, bro? He's like, no. If anything, I think it just like get a little old to like it get less. Like you, you need more of it to get hot. Like it gets unfresh. So I don't know if that's true, but it made sense to me. So that helped me calm down a little bit because I'm like, okay, it's not the weed that turned into a higher drug. So I'm like, all right. Bad. So I'm sitting here talking. Then out of nowhere, y'all, I have to stand up because I'm like sinking into the bed at this point. My bed is very comfortable. Like if I set a cup over there and jump like this, the cup was it wouldn't move. Like it's foam. So I'm like, oh my god, I'm sinking into the bed. So I stand up and I'm pacing back and forth in my room, y'all. Like just walking back and forth, just trying to keep conversation going with this man. And we're just walking back and forth. And then he tells me like, bro, it's only like 11 o'clock. Like. You'll be fine, I promise you, in like an hour. And I'm like, no, like this is too much right now. I would not be fine in an hour. He's like, bro, you're gonna be fine. So then he's like, just come sit down. And I instantly get freezing cold. Like my whole body ice. And I'm like, holy shit, like why am I so cold? So then I'm like, bro, he's like, just get under the covers then. And I'm asking him like, are you cold? Turn on my heater. Girl, what I name her son? She in there, I don't know what she doing, bro. Hi, in the living room, just chilling, watching TV. My ass in here tripping. First of all, I'm like, oh my God, I'm tripping in front of this man. Like he gonna think I'm really weird. <laughs> like, I'm really weird. But oh God, he saved my life. Sitting in here like, oh my God, like I'm really high right now. And then, um, he's telling me like just get under the covers. So I'm underneath the covers. Bro, the moment I tell y'all I got instantly cold, I felt my feet get fire. Then whole body hot. And I'm like, what is going on? So I'm telling him like, bro, I'm so hot. And he's like, just relax. So just having that go in and out in my head still, I'm like, damn, the weed that I just smoked was old. Turn into an ass. I'm like, bro, this is not normal. Like, I'm too high. Why does this happen to 
me. I just want to be relaxed. Why does this happen to me? I, I should know though, because I'm already a paranoid person as it is sober. So I don't know why I be trying to do something that lets me not have no control over my body. That's why I like drinking more because I can, you know, pace myself. When weed, it's like you just high. Ain't no in between. It's like once you high, you up there, bro. And you just gotta wait. <laughs> And then I'm telling him like, okay, yeah, bro, like it's over. Like it's just my mind playing tricks on me. I get from underneath the covers, we're sitting there talking cold. I'm like, oh my, what is going on? So I'm like super cold, shivering, bro. My teeth like chattering. He's like, are you really that cold? And I'm feeling my legs, cause I had on some shorts and like a long sleeve. I think I had on a sweater. So I'm like, yes, bro, like I'm cold. So I'm feeling my legs, I'm like, I'm cold. And I went like this, I'm like, oh, hold on. I'm actually really cold. And I'm like, feel me? Like, am I cold to you? And he touched me, he was like, oh shit, bro. Like, yeah, you're, you're cold. Like, why are you that cold? And I'm like, I don't know. So I grabbed my heating pad, I'm underneath the covers. He actually got underneath the covers with me and was like cuddling me to try to warm my body because I'm cold to the touch. And then like, I would say it's about 30 minutes of being hot and cold on and off. So then I start thinking to myself like, you know how they used to tell you when you was a kid, like, do not jump into the freezing cold pool after you done got out the jacuzzi because like it throws off your body temperature and you can like go into like hypothermia or something. Like you can spike something in you. So in my head I'm like, I'm about to die because <laughs> my body is getting too hot and too cold, too fast. And it's like, I was getting extremely cold and extremely hot like every 10 seconds. Like it was, it was like whoop, 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 felt it coming. Like when I would get really hot, my feet and my hands would get cold instantly and then my whole body would be cold, like freezing cold. And I'm sitting here like, bro, I'm tripping. And so we end up out, out of the room, right? Where me and um, Joey are sitting on the couch. Um, almost every day. Sun comes into the room and lays down because she's like, yeah, I'm like so hot. Because I kept asking her, like, are you like as high as me? Because you don't seem like it. And I felt like she took way more edibles than me. I think she had like six in total. I only had two and a half, but then I did actually like smoke. I just keep asking her and I'm like, bro, like, I'm really to the point where like, I want to go to the hospital. Like, this is not okay. So she let, comes in my room and lays down and she's like in the dark. I literally come in the room like, bro, are you high? And she's like, Deja, yes, like get on my face. Face, relax. She was like, if, if you're that high, go to sleep. And I'm like, I can't go to sleep because I'm gonna die. I'm over here like, um, I think I might have to go to the hospital. And she's like, bro, no, you don't. Like, you're fine. She's like, please just lay down. Like, I'm stupid high right now. Like, just lay down. And I was like, no, bro, I just gotta go talk to this man. So I went out in the living room. We're sitting there talking. At this time, it's probably like, uh, like 12, like, no, like 11.45-ish or whatever. Because I just remember him telling me, like, you're, it's gonna be gone by, like, by an hour. So we're sitting out there talking. He's actually sitting in my bar stools and I'm laying on the floor because I got hot. So I'm laying on the floor like like this, looking up at him while he's like talking. Um, and then I just remember telling him like, bro, please don't stop talking. And he's like, what? And I'm like, your voice is so soothing. And he's like, you know what? That's the first time I ever heard that. And I'm like, yeah, dude, like your voice is just so soothing. Like, please don't stop talking. And the whole time I'm laying on the floor, I'm still getting hot and cold, but it's not as bad as it was when I'm laying down in my bed. I'm like, okay, like now I feel like it's coming down. Like I'm okay, girl, no. Started being to a point where like, I would come in and out. It was weird. It was like I was coming in and out of my body and every time I came out, I would tell myself like, bro, you're fine. Like, you're just a little high, relax. And then I would come back in and I would instantly be super high again. Like, I was going like this. So, just, I weed is not for me. In any form, dose, amountage, not, I don't know why I keep trying to make it for me, but it's not for me. I need to just let it go. <laughs> I need to stop trying. All right, so we're sitting on the couch. And this is where like, I think the end of my life, whoop, okay? Cause we're sitting on the couch and we're just sitting there talking, me and the dude. We're sitting there talking. He's just telling me like about life and like we're just talking or whatever. And then like, you know how they say when you about to have you know what they say when you about to have a heart attack? The whole like left side of your body, some start happening, I guess. So my mind started telling me that I'm about to have a heart attack <laughs> because I was hot and then the whole left side of my body started tingling and instantly I'm like, whoop, 
the left side of my body tripping oh heart attack it's not okay like i really need to go to the hospital right now or i'm going to die and i just kept thinking like if i die like Layden's gonna be motherless. Like, that was just the only thing in my head. Like, if I die, like, my baby is talking like a mom. Like, I cannot die today. Who, like, what, what? I'm not gonna allow myself to die today and miss out my, all my kids' life, bro. No. As soon as I felt my body start tingling, I'm like, oh no. And then, my chest tightened up and I'm like, oh yeah, for real heart attack. So, still, while all this is happening, he's talking to me and I'm like, Okay, please don't think I'm crazy. I literally like set up and I was like, okay, please don't think I'm crazy when I tell you this. Please take it serious. I know I'm high, but like I know my body, so just listen to me. And I was like, I think I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> literally the, the, the straightest face and I really think he actually believed me because how serious I got. Like I set up and I was like, Honestly, like, just hear me out. <laughs> I think I'm having a heart attack. And he's like, what do you mean? And I was like, bro, I literally think I'm having a heart attack. And little did I know, he did inform me that he does have like a heart condition. So like he's been dealing with heart complications his whole life. So he starts asking me how I'm feeling and stuff because he would know if I'm actually having a heart attack. <laughs> so he's asking me how I'm feeling and I'm just telling him like well like the left side of my body was tingling I don't know if it's tingling now but like you know but my chest is really tight and I'm like my body is hot but my heart is so cold <laughs> like I just felt like ice just in the middle of my chest my chest is tight my body is on fire and I'm like, yeah, this is a heart attack. So then when I said that, he's like, okay, stand up. And like, he kind of got a little scared, which kind of scared me a little more because he was like, I've never, I've never felt that before. He was like, your chest is tight. And I'm like, yes. So we stand up and he's like holding my hands in front of me and he's doing like breathing techniques with me. And I was like, that is just so cute. Cause like you were going to make sure I didn't die friend. And I really appreciate that. But he He's like doing like breathing techniques with me and then like that kind of like helped me calm down because just knowing the fact that he actually has heart problems and like he actually knows what to do and like he would know if I'm really dying kind of just set like was a soothing moment for my mind <laughs> it's it was really nice for my brain <laughs> calm my brain down we're like standing up in front of my couch just like doing breathing techniques for like five minutes whole time i'm thinking it's been like three hours bro it's only been like 10 15 minutes and all this is happening like i'm telling you i lose track of time when i'm lit i guess it got really bad i guess i kept talking more but then he actually texted because he's an athlete so he texted i guess like the heart coach or whatever and it was just so cute because i was like you really care that much about me so he, he was like texting like the coach or whatever like basically telling him how I'm feeling, acting like he was feeling it, you know? So he's texting the coach or whatever, telling him like, yeah, like I got really tight chest pains. Like my body is kind of tingling. I'm hot, but my chest is cold. <laughs> and like, I don't know what the man said. He did reply, but he was kind of like coaching me as the dude was telling him or whatever, I guess. Um, but yeah, he actually cared enough to, um, make sure I wasn't dying. That kind of helped. So then like after all that happened, um, my heart felt a lot better. So then we were just kind of sitting on the couch talking. Whole time Sun in here dead. Like she's dead sleep, bro. And I'm like, okay, well, I'ma just go to sleep. So I'm like, I'ma go to sleep and try to like relax. And he's like, all right, bro, like if you can't go to sleep, like just FaceTime me or something. And I'm like, all right, bet. Like I'ma just go to sleep, like you can go home. So we're sitting on my stairs for like 10, 15 minutes and we're just talking. And then he looks at the clock and he's like, you good? No, he was like, are you good? And I was like, yeah, you know what? I feel a lot better. Like, I guess I'm coming down. Like, I feel good. And he looks at his phone and it's like 1230. <laughs> He's like, what did I tell you? Like, you were going to be fine within the hour or so. And I was like, you know what? You're right. Like, it's just weed. <laughs> like thanks friend i really appreciate you i really do because if he wasn't here and it was just me and son i would have drove myself to the hospital no i wouldn't have i would have called the ambulance to come get me because she really didn't care about my life like she, she really did not care 
So then after he leaves, um, I end up coming to my room. I was still high, but I was at a good level of high. Like I was just chilling. I was able to look at my phone and the letters not float towards my eyes. I was on TikTok, just trying to go to sleep. Actually did end up falling asleep, but I was still on the heating pad because I would still get little waves of hot and cold. So I had the heating pad, um, went to sleep, woke up the next morning, fine, I was chilling. But she woke up loaded. <laughs> like, she was still lit. And I'm like, girl, you should have went through what I went through. You would have been fine by now. <laughs> but yeah, that's the story on me actually getting lit off of edibles. I think I would have been completely fine if I would have just stuck to, stuck to the edibles and not wanted to be a little weed head that day and smoke <laughs> and do edibles at the same time. I hope you guys enjoyed the story. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Uh, let me know if you guys enjoy my story times. I have a lot of stuff that happens in my life and a lot of stuff that I can tell y'all and also about like the anxiety and depression if you guys want to hear more of that or like what helps me like that. If you made it this far, you're not yet subscribed. Why? Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Follow me on all my other social media accounts. They are down below. And on that note, Nigga, I should I should just stop. Like what? Like Bye. <laughs>